So Isaiah got this Star Wars science book at the library and in it it has a thing about how to make a lava lamp. So he needed these things, which were a pain to find, but I did find them. And he needs oil and we don't use, pretty much we don't use oil except olive or avocado. But we did have this old oil. thing of no. canola oil <laughs> from years and years and years ago, oil. so we're gonna use that. He's gonna use red and yellow for his lava lamp. Nine, ten. Don't get how this is gonna work, but okay. Open the antacid tablet and write them into quarters. You want to use one of the tablets for each liter of your bottle and hold. So this is. That's half a liter, so you could just use a quarter of the tablet, it'll be fine. I don't see what it's doing. There. You can kind of see, like, the, the food coloring is floating in there by itself. That's interesting. And then the oil and water separated. It has said I have six seconds remaining for the last, like, 30, 40 minutes. Why? I was on track too. I completely finished editing it yesterday and then my plan was to export it today, which I guess I still have time. It's only four o'clock, but um, my plan is to export the Winter Gym vlog today and then upload it today because by the time I finished it yesterday, it was not, there wasn't enough time for me to export it before I went to sleep and I don't like to leave my computer going overnight because then weird things happen and then sometimes it doesn't work and clearly this took forever. I started exporting this at noon. <sighs> so I'm waiting for that because I still need to make a thumbnail, I still need to upload it, wait for it to upload, and we don't have ballet tonight because our ballet teacher is sick, which, um, I feel bad for her. That's not fun. So, we don't have ballet tonight, so I was like, okay, I'll go to the food pantry because I've got things to do with the food pantry because we didn't finish our large donation from Friday. We had a huge amount, like 2,500 pounds of stuff come in. We didn't finish. There's a specific section that is mine and I need to sort that before Wednesday and I really don't want to have to do that tomorrow when I go in to bring in the produce. If you would just finish exporting, that would be fantastic. If you could just finish and then I could get it uploaded because that's not gonna take that long. Maybe an hour at the most, but I need it to do its thing. <sighs> anyway, I need to go to the food pantry and finish that thing, but I'm not gonna go do that until this is done because this has to get done with me sitting here. So waiting for that, but hi, happy Monday. Like in ponytail, I didn't wanna do my hair today. There is a cardinal right here in the bush outside the window, just singing away, and he's so cute. So I decided to go to Shopco today because I got a sugar-free vanilla iced coffee at McDonald's and I was right there next to Shopco, so I was like, let's run into Shopco and check their clearance, because sometimes they have fun stuff on clearance. And then I found something I just couldn't say no to. <laughs> Look at this little guy. <laughs> yes, they still had Christmas stuff on clearance and he was only $5 and he's so cute. He's a little LED uh, penguin, penguin, obviously. <laughs> he's so cute and he was $5. How do you not get that? How do you see that in the store for $5 and not buy that? Like, he feels weird. He's a, he feels weird. He's like soft. Soft with like Easter grass. On. Yeah, it's interesting, but I really, really like him. He's very cute. Who's is it? We should, he, he's our families. We should think of a name for him. Pete. Pete? <laughs> <laughs> is his name Pete? Is this is Pete the Christmas penguin. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's gonna eat dad's salad. <laughs> Dad made a delicious Valentine's Day dessert pie. Is it a pie? Is that what you call it? A pav it looks like a pavlova. I don't think that's what it is, but it's um, gluten-free crust, like graham cracker-ish crust, and then there's blueberries and strawberries and kiwi and whipped cream, and then I put chocolate sauce on because that's what Dad did, and then it sounded amazing. So, time to taste. It reminds me of fruit cake. Not fruit cake, fruit cake that we used to buy from Marsh when I was little. It was basically like a graham cracker crust mm -hmm. with whipped cream, maybe? Just a graham cracker crust fruit. and fruit? Glaze. That's it, and so it had like kiwis and strawberries and mm -hmm. I forget what else, but it was really, really good. Not fruit cake, fruit cake. But it wasn't really cake, it was more like a pie. I don't know, mm -hmm. it was good. We used to eat it at Marsh. I don't know if that helps. 
So happy Wednesday, happy Valentine's Day. I feel kind of bad because usually I'm super big into holidays and I love to do holidays and including the little ones like Valentine's Day and stuff. But this year I didn't do anything because it has been a crazy week. Let me tell you, so busy. Um, and I just, it snuck up on me. I didn't realize it until last night that today was Valentine's Day. So I didn't really do anything. Um, I wore my You Are Loved sweatshirt. Um, so, I mean, I dressed for the occasion. I just didn't really do anything. And I feel kind of bad because usually I like make the family Valentines and stuff and I just didn't do it this year. I was gone all day at the food pantry. Like literally I was, didn't get home until six, five, five something, 5.36, somewhere in there. And I am very tired. I think I'm like, cra not crashing, but I'm nearing my crash because yeah, it's just, it's been a crazy, crazy few days. Let me see it. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. <laughs> you also need to keep your body Yeah. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> <laughs> My cardinal friend is still in the bush. This is his new favorite spot. I need to name my cardinal friend. Mr. Cardinal. You're cute. So I just got back from a doctor's appointment. I have a gastroenterologist or a GI specialist and I see him like once every nine months. Um, basically follow up to uh, a few years ago when I was much sicker than I am right now which I don't really talk about my health a lot on the camera because it's not very exciting. But um, yeah, so I have a gastroenterologist and I saw him today and it was great. I got confirmation on what my technical diagnosis is, at least from him. It's called functional dyspepsia. Basically, I am nauseous, nauseated like all the time. Like I have this constant low level nausea just hanging out in my body. I've had this Oh man, for like th constantly for like three years. I've had digestive and stomach issues my entire life, but this constant nausea has been for a few years. Um, I take a low dose of a nausea, prescription nausea medication, and that keeps it at bay. So like I'm eating and I'm, I'm doing fine. Like I'm healthy right now. N wasn't feeling so great a few years ago, but that's another story. Anyway, so my official diagnosis it was nice to hear from him what he's going to label it as functional dyspepsia and then the significant gluten intolerance, which that one's obvious. I mean, I eat gluten, my stomach hurts, I feel sick. That one's obvious, but yeah, so that was good. He did some blood work, so I did that, can't even see it, but uh, he ran some blood work just to like get normal level things and stuff because they want to, you know, make sure they're crossing all their I's and dotting all their T, nope, <laughs> take two. Dotting all their I's and crossing all their T's. Yeah, that's it, um, so I had that and uh, ran a couple errands and now I'm home. I just finished sending out all the wow publicity stuff for the friends of the library, except for one thing because their website is down. There's only one more thing I have to send out and I'm ready to send it out, I'm ready to do it, but their website is down. So I can't do it right now. I'm frustrated, but oh well. Um, yeah, so I did that this afternoon. I'm gonna ready to make dinner in a few minutes anyway, so I guess that works out. I'm making healthy nachos, which I stole, sort of stole the recipe from Aubrey when I went and stayed with my friend Aubrey last year for New Year's. They made these and they used the mini, I'll just show you when I make them, but um, they're kind of like nachos, but not really. It's mostly just bell peppers with taco meat inside of them. They're really good. Uh, the mini peppers were on sale, so I got those at Kroger on Tuesday, so I'm gonna make that tonight but I just wanted to come on the vlog and give an update about my day because I needed to voice my frustration with the website that I need being down and also my excitement with being able to like label my diagnosis. So I didn't actually end up showing you dinner because I was a little frenzied. I made dinner and then I also decided to make gluten-free banana oat bars because we had bananas we needed to use and I really wanted oat bars and they did not turn out exactly how I wanted them but they're still delicious. They're more like a bread than a bar. Um, 
but they were fine. So I'll insert a picture of the nachos here. That's what they look like, sort of. Not mine. This is from the recipe, but yeah. It is 8.40 in the evening. I'm getting ready to try to get caught up on SVU because I'm still two weeks behind on that. Now's a good time to get caught up because there's no Supergirl for nine weeks. Why? Why? So I'm getting caught up on all the other shows that I watch that I've just, I've been very busy and fitting Supergirl and Grey's Anatomy in has kind of been it right now. So getting caught up on SVU. I'm going to try to do that library thing that I couldn't do because the website was down. See if the website is back. And then I'm going to take a shower and go to bed because I've got a busy day tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you later. Good night.